What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and we are here for episode number three of the crew cast. Today we got the original three lineup of Colge. What's up, dog? Just chilling, you know. Yeah, that trailer. Like usual. You adjust into that trailer life pretty good. Oh, yeah. It's just white trash, and <laughs> I am white as white trash as it comes, dude. Does it just feel like you're camping all the time? No. <laughs> uh, it's different. I don't know. It's different. You know, you're growing out the mutton chops. The boy got the freaking haircut, though. Like, uh, but this right here is getting pretty long. Yeah, I asked her to do it, but she didn't do it, so... I don't really know what to do about Did it. Did you just give her a bad Yelp review? Uh, no, I would have gave her my, a it was bad a, Yelp It was review. actually my cousin that did it. So. Uh, she deserved the bad Yelp review. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, we got Fitz in the building. What's up, dog? Fitz is always in the building. What's good? What's good? How are that, you doing? That's why I introduced us as the original three, because if there's going to be, like, three people that will be yeah. in the crew cast, obviously I have to be here, but I can rely on Colt and Bryce. But you know, even if you're out of town on a Wednesday or something, <laughs> me and Bryce could come here and do a crew oh, yeah. cast for you. Just us. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's I the mean, first. the the big we thing. Could pull Gary in or something. Like when Jameson free. did that video for you, what a year or two? Yeah, ago? but but that's a whole scandal. Yeah, that, 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 <laughs> that, that was a whole. I thing. had to make him do his fucking. I had to like have him write it out because the what he was gonna say it was just like, oh god, this would sound awful. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I don't understand. I guess I, I started off writing my shit, but it just comes naturally to me now. Like, I just talk. I just talk know. my shit. Yeah. yeah. That's that's what you do when you post six videos a week. Freaking just talking your shit and just coming up with, like, random stuff. Like, if you want to get good at presenting, you just need to do it a shit ton of times all the time. So that was my, uh, my motivational plug for anybody <laughs> that wants to start a YouTube channel. <laughs> But anyway, speaking of you guys taking over my channel too, next Thursday. Ooh. Yeah. What are we talking? Next Thursday, the Jags play a preseason game. Okay. I cannot go live for that preseason game. I will be at Hot August Nights. Ooh. Holding it. Well, that's that's my my radio station's the one that holds it. The hot August night. Yeah, he. I forgot time. about that, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna need somebody to do some live reactions. So you know, <laughs> maybe that, might, that yeah. might be. I might. That might just be a Bryce thing. Cause I need. Bri- I need some eccentric. Mm-hmm. I w- I'm not good at the whole play by play thing. That's not me. That, that, I'm more of the podcast kind of guy. Who you guys play? I don't even know. I think we play Miami. Oh man, I can't wait to play the Chargers because I think Kyler Murray's just gonna tear it up. Yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> we're, we are close. Preseason starts for us. When is uh, the Steelers' first preseason game? Uh, honestly, I have no idea. Yeah, you've never <laughs> been. This is this has been this has been a constant them. crew debate for a while, and it is is the preseason even worth watching? There, there, there's there's some watch. split. There's some split opinions in the crew. One man that's very strong about the preseason argument is Barnage. He's scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Barnage Garage. loves the preseason. He likes to see, you know, the new team members see kind yeah. of, kind of like what the groove is kind of be. I mean, obviously preseason's nothing like the regular season, but I think it comes down to like how your team is. Like you mm-hmm. don't like the preseason because Pittsburgh's always good, so they're not trying. They're not really bringing in any like crazy first overall draft mm-hmm. picks. You know, no. you haven't had a quarterback yeah. in the preseason to get well, I mean, excited about. I wouldn't mind watching um, who who we draft. We draft, uh, like, Devin Bush or something Oh, like Devin that. Bush, too. That, that's exciting. Like, yeah, I would like to see him play. See, that, but... see, that's my thing, too. Like, I'm with kind of with Gary, though. Like, I got to see it. my whole team. My whole team is going to be built. And I just want to see how they do. For one, I know preseason's nothing, but it's like the first time you get to see those people. Well, I'm just eccentric to fucking watch Gardner Minshew play. Like that that is that is just like Okay, I forgot Gardner about that. Minshew. I'll I'll go live for the Gardner. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's, yeah, what time does it start? I think four. Oh. I'll probably be starting the game. Yeah, dude. No, he, he is, dude. Cover. I know. I I don't know. I don't I wouldn't play Nick Foles at all. Oh. To be honest, not till like the fourth. I don't third think game is when you play them. I don't think Foles plays. I don't think Fournette will play, and I don't think 
Jalen Ramsey will play either. Yeah, that's how it is for the yeah. Steelers. You know, Big Ben didn't play. When A.B. was on the team, he didn't play. Or Le'Veon. Pat Pete's not playing any pra- practice for preseason, and he's at suspended for six weeks. So he's technically out for like... Holy that man. is true. I, the the talk, y'all, are, yeah. was y'all he take, are so fucked. Was he taking roids? I don't know what the heck would happen. I don't really... Apparently he did. He didn't some know it or drug enhance. I thought it was. That's what I thought it was. I thought it was just some pee. Apparently, he didn't know it, but then when he did know it, he was trying to cover it up or something. I don't know. And then that's like the got, John Jones kind of situation. Yeah, and then he got. That's why he got six. John Jones. Did you see? Uh, did you see who's the beats fighting on the next oh, uh, um, UFC? I saw some. But you can remind me who he's fighting. Dude, it's a no-namer. I didn't even know who he was. I was hoping you knew who he is. Yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. I didn't really remember. People are getting angry because they're not feeding Zabit to anybody. Dude, yeah, he's going to be there he's really gonna be a champ. There really isn't anybody to feed to him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, because he's not in the same weight class as Khabib, is he? No, no. no. Yeah, because that's... Zabit's his cousin or something like that. Zabit's a really technical grappler. Yeah. He's really good. You know, if Mike was on the podcast, he could go really in-depth about it. <clears throat> but You know, that's that type of shit, though. I love the art of UFC. Mm-hmm. And I love I love how they, like, book these matches and they know who's going to be a star. Like, that is a grueling sport to just get your way into. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, Conor McGregor fought for so long to become, you know, the champion he is now. Well, and or, then you, you look at guys... Even. You look at guys that just don't even, like, they never even go pro, but they fight mm-hmm. all the time just in hopes that they can do that. Like, yeah. they're fighting to put food on the table. Well, like, That's Ben why. Askren, he was, uh, I don't remember what other MMA promotion he was in, but he was, like, undefeated. He was a champion, and Dana White just didn't like him, so Dana never put him in the UFC until, you know, just until he fought Robbie Lawler and then got, you know... His ass beat. That was insane, dude. Like, <laughs> Five seconds. That was insane. I still love Ben Askren. He's still my favorite fighter. <laughs> I mean, he he talks his shit. He, you know yeah. what I mean? He walks his shit. But that all, was all fighters do that, though. It's <laughs> rare. It's rare to find a fighter that like actually doesn't just sit there and talk, talk shit. Yeah, they all do. Yeah, and that's that's I that's I have so much respect for that. Cause I mean, even there's a kind of a local fighting scene where we're at, sort of. There's yeah, I would we say have a, we small. have a we have a team. Yeah, we team have team execution. Yeah, team execution. We have a small team, and like just even seeing those guys. Like I mean, you know, you obviously know who I'm talking about. He fought in the UFC. Mm-hmm. Freaking, it, I'll just say Austin Arnett. You know, he fought in the UFC. He's the golden boy down here. He holds it down the fights, and you know, he goes down to the UFC, and you know, he doesn't do his doesn't do his shit. And that's not a knock yeah. on Austin Arnett because he works hard. That's what yeah. I'm saying is it's impressive that you're willing to sit there and work your ass off uh-huh. all the time to get that paycheck. And you know that he's getting paid to go out there and oh, fight yeah. for the UFC. He went and fought in, like, Argentina or yeah, exactly. Chile or something, you know, crazy like that. And that speaks volumes to, like, the work that he puts in down here, like, mm-hmm. to be good and to show that effort. Yeah. Yeah. So talking about storming onto the field – Storming into the cage and storming into Area 51, boys. You know, the thing is, is that this whole conversation, I was trying to figure out in my head, what is going to be a good segue to talk about Area 51, because I want to talk about it. And there was just nothing coming in, and I was like, what's something corny I can say? Right <laughs> this here. is perfect. That, that was perfect. perfect transition. <laughs> anyway, so obviously, I don't know if y'all seen it, but they took down the Facebook event to storm Area 51. Which is whack. Isn't I thought that, they that's some it. government shit. Yeah, dude, I thought they would have already done it. You know what I mean? That's well, it was supposed to happen September 20th. At 3 a.m. At 3 a.m. They can't stop us all. Especially the Naruto well, runners, all the Karens, the... Can't stop all of the us. The Kyles and the rock us. throwers. You know, the thing is, is that there's so many people that love memes and think that this is hilarious, but do you think that, the, that anybody... Anybody like in the there, world yeah. would actually go? I think there's going to be a few. Absolutely, I, I really do too. I, I th- think there's going to be at least a few thousand. A few that, thousand. That much you reckon? I do. Maybe I don't know. I think maybe like a Dude, less than a hundred. Less than a hundred? You think? I think fifty to a hundred, and those are people that probably just like want to die or think it's going to be funny. <laughs> oh my god! But it's going to be it's going to be a shit show. 
Well, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> I hope someone live streams it. Yeah. Well, let's just talk about that. Talk about, like, you, like, believe in the aliens? Dude, I've been to Area 51. <laughs> yeah? No, no shit. I was raised in Area 51. <laughs> That's why I'm a freak oh, specimen. <laughs> That's why it's That's got like, a big yeah, no shit. <laughs> that is so not PC. <laughs> I was just, we're gonna cut that out. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> what year is it, Bryce? I know, but like. That's what we always say for cold. Like, I've never cold. said that in my life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone says that's, that. That's all right. That's a, what did Barton say? They only listened to the first five minutes of the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I guess we're we're over I mean, it. But that's what I was gonna say too. I was like, you ever wonder how cold is so strong, but he's never lifted a weight in his life. <laughs> because but I'm just saying, he's like 150 pounds, and I'm like 200 mm, or something. Muscle and, steel and sex appeal. And this guy just. Muscles you around, man. Dude, honestly, <laughs> if I had to compare Colton to an animal, I'd probably That's compare like him to like a like a wolverine. A wolverine, yeah, I'd dude. say. I was thinking more like a mongoose. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that speedy though. I'm faster than you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you no <don't> shit. <laughs> Do you see me? Not that much look, faster. Look at the size difference. I was watching the show. It's called Alone. Uh-huh. And this guy chased down. He shot a bow. Shot this like wolverine's tail down to the ground, and then hit him with an axe. Oh, it's like a lot. You like you you have to stay out there and live, and like he's killed like a moose, a mong, a, a freaking one of the wolverine with his hands. Yeah, he he had to axe it because it was still alive. He, it's like it shows him like mic'd up, and it, you can just hear this like wolverine just like pissed off and charging <laughs> in. Well, no, I just got to compare Colge to a wolverine. I was, I was thinking more like a grizzly bear. Mm-hmm. Grizzly bear don't look like it can fight, but it can. Dude, you look oh, like man. you can fight. You got the biggest resting bitch face I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when you smile, it's so golden. Uh, <laughs> True. <laughs> I that, love the smile, I, guys. I, I compare Come you to on. a Wolverine because you're fucking rowdy. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I don't... Y'all ain't ever probably gonna fight Colton. But, I mean... <laughs> but, I mean... When you, you don't fight, want to. When you, <laughs> true. When you fight Colton, it's like... You look at him and you're like, I got a size advantage on this little little guy. Hella, right? I mean, yeah, I'm not that big. And then, and then, and then, and then you start fighting him. You're like, this guy has the longest arms (laughs) I've ever seen in my life. For a five nine guy, I do have pretty long arms. I would, I would almost say we have like the same reach. To be honest, he's a wrestling champ, man. Don't try to go head to head with Cole (laughs) Chilvin. Co team captain, senior year. Yeah, (laughs) that's what I'm talking about right there. Anyway, but uh, do you think there's Wolverines in Area 51, though? Uh, no, no, I have. <laughs> that, you don't think that that's what they're doing? No, I think. I think Area Fifty One's a Wolverine training facility. I think yeah. it's. I think because Wolverines aren't natural in the real world. I don't think <laughs> it's it's Tasmanian like, devils. I don't think it's alien, but I think it's like pro technology for flying. Well, that's because you listen to the Joe Rogan podcast, huh? No. I oh, really? Like, that's no. well. That's the guy. The guy that Joe Rogan had on there worked at area 51 he said that's what it is but he did say that there was some some aliens going on in there but i think it's i think it's a human testing site but that's what i absolutely think because that guy in the podcast and <clears throat> his uh, story hasn't changed for like 20 years or so it's always been the same that's why it's so believable and he said like he looked over at something and he said he saw like a creature that looked like an alien like stereotypical like grayish white you know Big headed thing. I think that's just a like experimented on human. You know, they're probably trying to find like cancer research, AIDS research, and they're just literally fucking people up. That's yep. That's because like, they have to inject them with all that nasty shit. Yeah, like. shit to see. They're probably just injecting you know people with everything. We well, were, but we were, that's... I think we were like also talking about this once, and we were like, "What? What about like missing people?" Well, that's I was just about to bring that up. Like, yeah. That could be a thing. Like, you think that's... Tupac and Elvis? There's no, no way, not, not, not them. <laughs> you can't be. You can't be like. You can't be like not... on that high of a scale. I feel like like homeless people. Yeah. Like homeless people, I feel like that would be. Oh, probably. People, Prime. people who are the, they're not searching for, they just pick up and grab and try to mm-hmm. use for testing. Oh, that's a good idea. I never thought about that. Yeah, and I mean, they could use, like, people that have AIDS and, like, mm-hmm. but I mean, also, that's. 
why do that when you can get you know yeah, there, however many people, people however many people in the world have AIDS but you can just pick up all these homeless people mm-hmm. I mean that's fucked up to say well, but I, I know, mean but that like, could be what's like, going on at Area well, yeah. 51 that's what I'm saying there's not people that they're looking for mm-hmm. like people that aren't looking for them like they're just homeless like dude. yeah it's just over yeah. you know what I mean maybe older people too I bet you older people are probably a prime people trying to see if they can make people but last forever I really forever. do think it's I think it's just pro technology like I think it's like mm-hmm. pro flight stuff like stuff that's just crazy well I mean but you gotta stuff they can't really let and to the public I would, I would say that if you would think that it wasn't something like aliens they'd tell the public but that would be silly like the like everybody gets all mad about like the government keeping secrets and I mean they there's cover there's up a lot of things though. there there is some things where it's like the people should know that but there's also some things where it's like do you really want to know everything I really I love watching like the Jesse Ventura show that's like, old but yeah dude that was legendary like that show but like still like it opened up cracks and stuff that you like just seen and you're just like. I think that they I don't they, understand why they cover up such stuff. <clears throat> I think that they film. The Simpsons. They make the Simpsons at Area 51. Because, you, you know, the conspiracy theory uh-huh. is, like, they predict everything, you know, five to ten years to fifteen years in advance. They, you know, they knew Trump was going to be president. They knew, like, supposedly 9-11 was going to happen. Yeah. I so mean, maybe they make the Simpsons there. I mean, but they're... Just everything's going to be planned out. Maybe it's like media as a whole because I mean there's been there's been other freaky incidents mm-hmm. on on TV especially with 9/11. Yeah. Like literally if you go on YouTube and you look up like 9/11 in cartoons, you'll see so many like just references to yeah. it. Well, I mean, and you know one thing I was super into when I was younger was freaking the Illuminati. I think the Illuminati is real. I think the idea of the Illuminati is real, but I don't think like I don't think I absolutely th- think there's just a group of people that just actually run the world. Well, I mean, you they, look everything you see on TV is like because of a, a certain group of people. Well, I Vince McMahon a, has to be in the Illuminati. I think there's a group of billionaires that run the world. Probably like selective groups. Yeah, yeah. There's like this: the richest people in the world. They're called like yeah. the Rothschilds, or you know, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know, but they own like the biggest banks in the world and like they're just trillionaires yeah. they're like the richest people and like i don't know they're supposed to be tied up with like the freemasons which is like the illuminati kind of yeah situation there's like this, there's like this weird thing that i should well, show that i watch it's mm-hmm. oak island and they're like looking for treasure and whatnot and mm-hmm. it's tied to like freemasons and stuff and like there's like people in history that were came to that island mm-hmm. and weren't rich but end up rich being there hmm. so it's like stuff that they might have found there well Illuminati's real aliens are real well it's like that's why you gotta think too like it's self made people aren't in the Illuminati that's yeah. why I think it's wild if people say rappers are in the Illuminati you're wrong yeah, <laughs> yeah. because because they're, they're self made people yeah. like that can't be in the Illuminati quote yeah unquote. if you're in the Illuminati you have to be like in a family mm-hmm. of rich people yeah. that like have yeah. controlled the world, you know. Like, who who do you think would be in the Illuminati? If you had to, if you had to say one rich person, people or, we don't know. Really, you don't yeah. think you don't yeah. think any notable people? No, no, absolutely the top not. Of the world. People that are in the Illuminati or Freemasons or any groups like that, nobody knows. They There's no know way. What, they don't even know what's going on. If I had to pick one, if you had to pick one person that's like a notable person that you would think, oh, he's he. In the Illuminati, I think Jerry Jones. I think Jerry Jones would be in the Illuminati. The owner of the, the Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. What's your uh, issue with the Cowboys, dude? Your <laughs> your dick is hard for the Cowboys, yeah, and you think Jerry Jones rules the world? Dude, like, Jerry jo- dude, no, <laughs> is that he, why the Cowboys are gonna win the Super Bowl? Basically, dude. <laughs> <laughs> because it's Jerry funny, Jones dude. part of the Illuminati. Dude, if I had to, well, because he's super rich, he's a billionaire. Like yeah. he and he controls. Like, why do you think Dallas has so many fucking prime time games every year? There's people out there that have lots and lots more money. I know, but yeah, I bet people that are in the Illuminati or, or big. group like that just no one knows. Yep. And it's wild to think that like they're together. The world's wealthiest people. Like, if you look that up on Google, you probably can get an answer. 
But yeah. it's like, you probably don't... There's probably some people in some weird countries that have, like... Lots of money. I know. Well, I watched a video on it, and, like, yeah, some people that just, like, own... Like, there's people in different countries, like, the Middle Eastern countries that, like, own, like, literally all the land. It's not, like, the government that owns the land. It's, like... They just own it's all a, the land. It's people that own the land, but it's still part of a certain country. Yeah. It's but it's just, like, a larger scale of, like, if you buy a house, you know, four acres. I don't know. It's weird. I'm trying to think who, like... Do you think we'd know who the richest person in America would be? Who do you think like that would be? Bill Gates. Oh, or there's Duh. like there's some Duh. other that was stupid. There's some <laughs> other guy that's Paul. Well, Paul is Paul Allen. No, Paul. Did Allen die for Seattle? Did he pass away. Who? Who? Paul Allen. Paul. Allen. I have no idea. I don't know. Well, who it is. might be. T- I don't know. For Seattle. Not Tim Allen. No. <laughs> Tim, <laughs> Tim, Tim, Tim Allen, Allen was Santa Claus. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Tim Allen was Santa that. Claus. Shouts out to that little girl if she's listening. Santa Claus has been yeah. Tim Allen the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, we've been playing a lot of Madden late, lately. Dude, Madden's fucking tough when the sliders are fucking ice, hard. Ice. And it's 65 overall quarterback. That's an excuse. It's yeah. not an excuse, dude. It's tough. Okay, okay. It's Tree, tough. Tree beat me 30. It's a oh, no. six-round draft pick. Can you stop? Drafted him as a 63 Tree. overall okay. from UNLV. Can oh, we UNLV? I, I just looked this up, but the Rothschild like, family is worth over $400 billion. That's enough. Sorry, I just had to put that, that that's out That's a there. lot of billions. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what, here's what I'm saying is... Uh, and a franchise though, like you just, I just spanked you, okay? Like it was three possessions until like the fourth quarter, and then no, that. it was fifty six to twenty. It was, but it, but at halftime it was forty twenty. Yeah, but so. I'm so bad at Madden. I dude, Not I get exposed. Funny. I get exposed. I want to play two K. I get exposed by the. The, uh, exposed what you call it. Too. I would not get exposed the computer. I know what I run and you be tough. Dude, that's that's what tough I'm saying with me, dude. I freaking I know how to work them controllers. I know how to yeah. work them sticks no, when it comes don't. to two K boy. Dude, if you give me Dirk <laughs> Nowitzki, it's over. Dirk Nowitzki. That's all I need. Nope. Yep. He ain't in fucking two K twenty. Do you have two K twenty? I'm gonna get it. You got like two K fifteen. I have two K seventeen. Yeah, sure. Dude, I would not even. I'm almost wanting to get two K twenty over Madden twenty. You're freaking. Am I crazy. high? Yeah, no. Because you know what I've been playing. No, because no, I'm fine with doing our franchise. Because I want to fucking win the Super Bowl in our franchise. Oh yeah, he's never won a Super Bowl. Huh? <laughs> so Loser. what? Neither have you. I've been. You've lost. You got your ass kicked. And I beat you in the playoffs. I've literally never lost me. to Bryce okay. in the playoffs. Okay, he beat me by eight. Never lost. And guess in what? The playoffs, you know how bro? he's talking about how he has sixty-five overall quarterback. I had freaking gosh dang Luke fault. So yeah, you, you know how hard overall. it is. I don't care. I was in the playoffs. I was and in the playoffs with Armani, too. Oh, I lost by eight. You have Armani, and you get Luke Falk was a sixty-nine. Armani was a sixty-three. No. They got a remaster street too. Oh, dude. Word. So I've been word. playing. So I've, he getting getting in this so I've actually been playing Street 2 on the Xbox. And I've been doing the, uh, the what is it, like Beat the Streets yeah, or whatever. Yeah, Beat the Streets where you have and to I, beat like, all the teams. Yeah, you have to do all the pickup games and you have to do like the 4 on 4s and the all the different challenges. I've been grinding it, bro. You've been working hard I've at it. I've been grinding, huh? yeah. Do you have your PS4? Yeah, you have your PS4 with you, and you've just been deciding to... He has a huge yeah. TV and a couple yeah. game stations, man. Yeah, dude, I got the original Xbox and my PS4. <laughs> That's and, and you've been the... grinding the original Xbox because I would rather play Street 2. And it's got than... washers outside, too. Dude, those, yeah, I got washers, plays, whatever you call it, whales, washers. Holy board. Oh, wa- oh, like the oh, holy, holy board. board. Yeah. yeah, I love holy board. That's fun. I love cornhole. I love oh, backyard oh, games. Oh, dude, corn. Have you ever played lawn darts? Yeah. I bet it's my dad still has it somewhere, but like those were those have been outlawed for like 20, 30 years because really? they're so dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, but my dad has some and it's fun, dude. I played like at my grandma's house. 
Like yeah. she'd always bring them out for like the barbecues. You like, ever play like old lawn darts, like the ones that like you throw away up into the air? When I was freaking... younger, yeah, which is probably dangerous. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's why they were dangerous. outlawed because a bunch of people were getting drunk and just tossing them at people, and killing <laughs> Holy them. Crap. Well, I mean, freaking, you ever play that other game with the the golf balls on the? Okay. On the yarn, right? And you like throw it and like, oh yeah oh, yeah yeah. There's the I don't know three what it's levels. Called. Yeah yeah. One three and five. Yeah. And if you wrap yeah. it around the side, it's like ten. It's basically like washers. Like yeah, balls, but oh, I system. love that. I love I that love game that too. Dude, my so grandma used it. to play that. Sh- used to bring that shit out for family barbecues too. When we instead of cornhole, we used to, cornhole. We now we play that all the time when we go to family events. Mm-hmm. Now we play freaking. Uh, Oh, we used to play that. The, yeah. Throw those. The, the golf balls. Yeah. Uh, what is that game? That, that game doesn't have a name. No, dude. No. That's why I just had to explain it. Yeah. I, was like, was like the I know exactly what you mean. I mean, they're not yeah. legitimate golf balls, but like they, they, look, like, like, they look... That's yeah. why I had to say the fuck. It's like a balls. piece of... It's like shoelace mm-hmm. connected to two golf balls, and you just throw it at a... There should be an Olympics for people that are good at those types of shit. Well, okay. I so, like um, recently on the Ocho... ESPN the Ocho. I I didn't hear about that, but I seen on Twitter that a lot of people are talking about. Yeah, so they like just did a whole thing. They're doing cornhole and uh, they're doing spike ball. Come on in, dog. Come on in, Wyatt. What is up? Look at this shout out in the the chat. We got a freaking. We got a new face. Welcome to the podcast. The dub is in the building. What is up, everybody? (laughs) Yeah. Surprise appearance. I like the Latino Heat shirt. You came in. You came in dripping right off the bat, brother. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) Too bad we don't got the camera on. Yeah. 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 Oh man, is is the chat enjoying the pod? (laughs) This this, this one's recorded. (laughs) I'm sure. I'm sure the comment section. The comment. The chat will be blown. Oh, yeah. The chat will be blowing up eventually, though. Ye- 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 Yeeterton's my man. <laughs> <laughs> You're just popping in and popping out? Oh, yes, sir. It was man. nice to see you, dog. Oh, yeah. Appreciate Thank the love, you. dog. Thank you. Yeah. Latino heat in the Dude, building. Yeah. Eddie Guerrero, shout out. Anyway, <laughs> to the Guerrero family there, He's another guy who'd be good at the Ocho. Oh, he's back with goodies! Oh, a Snickers <laughs> ball! Thank you! I love Snickers! I'm not a cookie! Oh, a Twix PB? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Wait, he, 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 this isn't the Twix left bar, it's the right bar. You, Damn right. You know, I, I, you know right I prefer bar, the huh? Twix right. I prefer the Twix left. I'll put the rest in the freezer, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> That yeah, was I freaking love Wyatt. I did too. <laughs> that was the best possible cameo we could have had in the podcast. <laughs> I can't believe dude, I got the freaking Twix PB. That was my favorite candy. Dude, bar. Kit Kats are my favorite. Did you get those little ones for Halloween? Just the singles. Throw those bad boys in the deep freeze. Oh, oh dude. dude, frozen frozen Kit Kats are frozen dang. Kit Kats are the best candy bar. You can't tell me otherwise. Let me look at your freaking Snickers. Anyway, so what was going on in the Ocho? We had we were discussing the, the Ocho. Ocho before, yeah, before. so um, yeah. do you remember years ago when we went to that wrestling camp in Pasco? Yeah, and we were playing spike ball. Uh huh. So you can follow on Instagram. There's like, there's clubs in uh, all the D1 schools, and they all have, they have championships for all the, you know, for all the spike ball. So they do spike ball, cornhole, holy board. They do, they do a little bit of everything in the Ocho. Dude, it's cool. Dude, oh, they're doing all that? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're, if they're doing that, you and fucking you need to get off your ass and be it, fucking... It's somewhere... It's only somewhere, like, in California. Only, I know I know it's somewhere... Only a badminton champ. Dude, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if they do badminton, but I know... I only saw previews for it. I didn't watch it, but, like, I know they're doing cornhole and spike ball. Oh, dude, dude. spike ball is awesome. They were probably spike doing, ball. like, beach volleyball. They are probably doing surfing, too, I'm I sure. It's remember. the Ocho. I don't remember spike ball. Well, yeah, you didn't play you spike. Did, we played, played it at a wrestling camp. Uh, it's like it's like no. volleyball, but, like... Dude, it's cool. We would be good at yeah, it. Yeah, y'all would kill. That's what I'm saying, though. If this is an opera, If the Ocho is presenting an opportunity with this, for y'all to, like, do that and get money, I don't think you guys understand. Like, if, like these two are the masters of being good at fucking games that just we make <laughs> up no or just like that little shit like yeah. cornhole holy board freaking 
Like I'm good at that ping we, pong. I'm really good dude, at ping pong. When we were up at the cabin, like we haven't played football in years, and oh, I that was a good time. Took, like Jameson tried to rack that ball out of my hands, and I just dude, yeah. So like, leg, look at this. This is literally spiked ball. Oh, I oh yeah, remember this. Yep. Yeah, dude. It's, so you hit it up once. You can hit it again. Tiny trampoline. Right? Pull the video up, Jamie. Oh, no one got that reference. Come on, dog. No. That's a fucking show Rocket reference. I don't, I don't want yeah, to. Yeah, so like it's literally just, it's like, it's kind of like the concept. There's like a little netted trampoline in the middle, and yes. you're allowed to move around freely. Just look it up on YouTube. Is it like yeah. a volleyball? We'd put it's it up. It's like volleyball, so, so you it, can. Is it with a volleyball? Type? No, no, it's a little like handball kind of uh-huh. squishy ball that you can like slap, probably okay. about like that big. And you know, you hit it on to serve. And uh, your partner can hit it up, then you can hit it up, and then you can spike it. Ugh. And then, you know, you're allowed to move freely, so you can do all the trick shots. You can jump over, you know. It's crazy. Like, So you can hit it off. and then Dude, I'll buy a spike bop, ball set. And bop it Dude, there's kind of scrandy. Yeah, and then, and then spike and then, it on the other guys. Yeah, you can, like, do, like, crazy, like, jump shots where you can, like, Ooh. barely. And as long as you hit the net. Dude, I'm gonna buy a set. Yeah, they're like sixty something. And isn't bucks. there? There's like a pocket rule where if you hit like the, isn't it? Something yeah, like I don't. I, well, I haven't played it in years though, man. I only played it once, and it was at that wrestling. Game. Yeah, same. I mean, well, it's so much fun though. We, like, oughta, we would be good at it, bro. Well, I'm y'all excited. oughta y'all oughta start like a, a revolution here, like like a triathlon, but for like stupid games. It's not stupid. Okay, you know you're what? stupid. <laughs> Dude, for long, yeah, long lo- games. Long games. Yeah, for long games. The do long five, Olympics. Do yeah. five games. Do the ones. But you have to win in like you need to fucking win in record time. Mm. Like you need to freaking y'all need to like I don't know how you would work do, a time. Do thing, five but. games. Do the we do holy board cornhole spike ball badminton and then that and then fucking do, do that Hell's golf game. ball game. Yeah, we could play it at Hell's Gate. Yeah, frisbee golf. Yeah, we can do disc yeah, golf. Yeah, disc golf for the f- people that are good at disc golf are good at lawn games. Oh yeah, dude, yep. I'm sure. Because like that that's be- that's what those people like freaking uh, Bailey's cousins mm-hmm. like they're really good at lawn games and they're really good at disc, disc golf. golf. Guess what? Guess what? Freaking Bryce did. Huh. The other day, he aced hole four at Hills Gate. I mean, at freaking Sunset. At Sunset. Yeah, Let dude. Let me think for a second. Three. Hole four. Yeah. Oh, so that's up just the, the that's the downhill. The no, up the, up the hill. Up the hill. Oh, really? Up. Yeah. No way. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah that's dude. it. I got that's really close actually the other day. I almost aced one. Dude, I told you. Like, I feel like if you people that are good at disc golf, like if they can mm-hmm. get the right throw on hole one, dude, it's I like an ace. easy pass. Dude, wanna... no, I was literally I hit like the bottom part, like the bottom pole. Oh, I want to, I want to ace hole six. Yeah, so bad, dude. Hole just, six, my favorite one. I just want to ace, ace one. You know, <laughs> dude, it's cool. Anyway. I've only ever hit one ace. But... Yeah, let's let's one talk eight. about that. That happened recently. Yeah, Cold. It was with us three. Yeah, Col- the original the OG three. OG three. Freaking the tribe. Yeah, the tribe. Freaking cold. Yeah. So I was having a horrible day. It was yeah. hot outside. You know, about a hundred. Terribly hot. It was. Hot. It was Sweating literally the day. Di- second, like hours after we recorded the last crew cast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then. But, you know, we're still having a good time, and I went up to eight. They're doing their little uh, league softball. Bryce was watching, yeah, actually. Exactly. Yeah, And, uh, yeah, I just, um, you know, I usually throw all my mid-ranges. I picked up my Rock 3, and I was like, all right, let's do this. Gave her a good little medium-sized toss, and uh, it didn't look good at first until, like, about three-quarters of the way there, and then... Chains. What, what was going on? What was going on in your head while you were watching that disc fly? So like at first, like right when I released it, you're like, "Oh, dude, that's good," and like <laughs> I was like, "I don't know. I think I'll be close because I'm usually close on a." The funny but, thing about yeah. this too is me. I was like, "That's good." As soon as, as, <laughs> yeah. soon as it left his hand, I was like. That's, that's gold. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. even crazier. I didn't it's, think it was going to go in. It Like, the wind kind of pushed it good, and then... It, like, it, pushed it up. Yeah. And then and it then, comes down. And then, like, it... it, Like, it was, like, like a perfect, like, kind of hit. Like, you wanted to hit it right in the middle, like, right in the chains, in aimed right yeah. at the pole. And it was, like, right there. It was buckets. 
Well, that's what, and the funny thing is, too, is I got there, and I was joshing around. I was like, I'm going to ace hole eight. Mm-hmm, yeah. And, and then Colton goes Colton and aces Colton hole eight. <laughs> I think we ought, to, we ought to try golf once. Uh-huh. I don't think I'd at be least good. go to the I range. I really don't think I'd be good at golf. Go to the range. Like, Might as well just go rent some golf carts and some clubs. Dude, because, like, you know, like... That's I, fair. I wish in... I know in disc golf it's completely unpractical, especially in the valley, but I wish you could just have golf carts for bringing <laughs> disc golf, dude. Because I'd just be drinking and driving my golf <laughs> cart, dog. Yeah, so, like, in the, like, the professional, like, golf leagues, like, they're not allowed to use the golf carts. Did you no, know that? Dude. And disc golf? No, the disc professional. Or, or regular golf. Oh, really? Yeah, the professional yeah. league, they just walk. You have to walk. It's like a rule. With your jockey. Mm-hmm. It's oh, a really? rule. It's weird. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But obviously, when you're just doing whatever, you can use I, I don't. Well, there's just nothing better Except than drinking for... brews and throwing some discs, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, me, Tyler, and Steph, and Brayden went out. I love throwing some and nasty rollers. That's all. That's, yeah. all, that's your thing. Yeah, dude. Trademarked. Dude, yeah. Just, it used to be we'd get like a little clan going together. It was Cody, Kyle, you guys, Tyler. And I'd bring, you know, a good amount of beer. And we'd all just have some beers and, you know, just go throw. Have a good time. My <laughs> dad and Trey showed up. Yeah, they showed up <laughs> one time. Here's that was my thing. Time. Here's my thing is... Kyle is the coolest person I have ever met, but when I'm with Kyle... Ever? Yeah. <laughs> what about me? What about okay, me? Okay, well, he's, he's a top okay. 15. Yeah, top, top 15. 15. <laughs> top 15. He's pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> at, the, at the same time, is every time I'm with Kyle and we're throwing... I throw like dog shit. <laughs> hey, by the way, shouts out to Kyle, too. If you have a Twitch, go subscribe to Full Force Riot on Twitch. He's trying to start oh, streaming. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Good plug. Yeah, we had a shout out to Kyle. I'm glad I'm glad you brought him up because because yeah, I cool seen guy. him I seen he was streaming today. I did too actually. And I and I knew I had to get him up. You know I I, I love it when anybody tries doing that type yeah. of shit. Mm-hmm. You ever freaking Ga- Gary Vanderchuk or whatever his name is? Yeah, no. dude, I love him. Dude, he's crazy. I watched him. I watched uh, so I watched this YouTube. It's called the Hot Ones when they eat the spicy wings. Oh, I haven't watched his Hot Ones, but I've it's seen- a, it's an older one, yeah. but like. Yeah, like, he's just crazy. Like, his mind just works different, and he's really smart. Well, that's what he... And it, like, the way he explains it is just sounds so simple. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And, and I kind of just live by his words. Like, mm-hmm. like, he says this, too. He's like, if your quality isn't good, don't worry about your quality. Just be consistent and mm-hmm. put stuff out. And that's... Fucking yeah. my YouTube channel yeah, like this, like this is this is like this is thrown together. We didn't plan any well other than like just doing a podcast. Yeah. We didn't really plan much of this. Well, because I asked them on like Sunday night, I was like, "Who wants to do a crew cast?" And well, I think I just asked Colton, and then I messaged. Well, the I was chat. hammered, and I was like, "Treeb, I'm your commander in chief. I will literally do. Oh, yeah, I will I literally do your that. do your podcast every single week." Like, I'll be in every video if you need me to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll be there, too. Like. <laughs> well, I mean, dude, Frick, we're like, what are we, 31 days away, 32 days away from yeah, fucking dude. doing our picks podcast. And then it's on. And we then gotta, it's on. We, we got, got a new system. Point. Yeah, we got to do the point system. We'll probably do that, like, week four of the preseason, probably. Yeah, start. probably. Probably just to get people Yeah, just to let to them it. know what we're doing. Yeah, I, w- I would say it now, but no one fucking listens to no. the whole 38 minutes. It's a, it's a, it's a harsh reality, it but it's so a, true. It's like the first five minutes. Dude, you know who you it. know who will listen to all of this, and I know he'll comment down below if he does, and, Christopher and it's not Christopher Columbus, because I don't uh, think Christopher Columbus listens to this, but if Christopher Columbus... Oh, dude, and shouts out to Christopher Columbus, yeah, dude. A, I've said his a, name a, like four or five times, but him and Jay, man, they uh, they're holding down the chat this year for the streams because I have a feeling my streams this year might get a little fucking crazy. I'm having yeah. a feeling that like I might yeah. have a good amount of people, so I needed some people yeah. to mod the chat. You so need I... to come over to my house. That's yeah. gonna be a tragedy. I, well, I hope the connection's not Yeah, ass. dude, I'm gonna have to I'm tell honestly... everybody to get off their Wi-Fi. Yeah, or do well, s- dude, if you pay for my NFL package, you can come watch all the games at my house. <laughs> dude, yeah, the, uh... Or no, I don't even have TV. I just have internet. Well, that's what I'm saying. If I was yeah. gonna pay for the NFL package, I would have done that already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, but I was like, it's my parents' fault, dude. My parents freaking canceled their what? Sunday ticket, and they turned my Jags room into a fucking she shed. 
To a what? A she shed. It's over. What's that? Your it's a freaking. A she it, shed is like a is woman it, version of a man cave, dude. It is painted and it oh, is no painted way. and it is painted well. No. And it is no fucking. Way. You won't even. Uh, you're like you're never moving in again. No, yeah, it's like basically. <laughs> Like, they basically just turned my whole room into a different fucking room, and it just, it hurts, man. <laughs> like, there's, like, I like me and Bailey, man, that's, like, where our whole relationship <laughs> is based man. out of, dude. And, like, fuck, I go in there, and it doesn't even look like... You're like, like what did you guys do? Where's Maurice? Yeah. <laughs> Where's my fucking Maurice at? In where? the garbage. <laughs> I'll get you one of those. What do they call those? Fat heads? <laughs> that's what I thought. Did you see that, did you see that meme... Look at that. That doesn't even look like it. What? That's my room, dude. What? Let me see. What is that? That's weird. What? That's my mom's Pyrex room, bro. That's wild. She just gets Does she sew room? in there or what? No. She just displays all of her Pyrex in there. Look at that. Hmm. Oh, dude, my. She should just, like... And you know that's my room because of the hard it. floors. Yeah. Dude. No, no more way. of those, uh... What'd you have those... <laughs> the... No. Hard pass on that one. The jizz curtains or whatever. No. Yeah, dude. It looked... Nah, I'm not going to explain. That's disgusting. <laughs> I just can't believe you guys think that I would just fucking beat my well, meat. Dude, and, and, fucking... and then wipe it on your curtains. It looked like that, though. <laughs> That's absolutely what it was. Like, <laughs> no. Trebe's like, no, my mom bought them at a yard sale. My mom oh. did buy them at a yard sale. Yeah, but they kept getting worse and worse. Give me your fucking candy bar. You're hogging it. <laughs> Dude. I didn't get a good old bite. <laughs> That's fair. Y'all, y'all needed to freaking... Y'all can't even hold the pot. What are you giving them? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Dude. But seriously, Kit Kats are the best candy bar. <coughs> Twix BB. Comment down in the chat <laughs> what's your favorite candy bar. <laughs> I can like payday. Pay God you're I've old. never I've never had a payday. They're pretty good. Never Bryce likes it. nuts. Oh dude, I like Heath bars. <laughs> I like Heath bars. Shut up. No dude, one likes fucking Heath bars. I like Heath them. Bar, you know I what like I like? Heath milkshakes. Okay, I like Reese's, but the, do, you, do you call that a candy bar? Yeah. Yeah. Is fun. that really candy? Do you bar? call Cheetos chips? Yeah, but it's so. What kind of cake was that? That Cheetos that's the same cake? exact same thing. It's a cup, though. You know what I mean? It's still it's a candy not, bar. It's, it's still a, candy. It's not a bar. I feel like Ch- Cheetos aren't chips. They're puffs. They're crisps. <sighs> Oh, this is a well. What about off. Funyuns? So the Funyuns same Funyuns deal? are still they're all chips. Yeah, but I'm confused at this analogy though. Why <laughs> comparing Reese's peanut butter cups to Cheetos? I've never thought because about they that. don't look like a chip. That's true. And then I guess. You're saying all right, now I get Reese's it. Reese's aren't right. a candy bar because they're not a bar. So if they're, they're candy, okay. If they're a can- yeah, it's if all candy, candy. It's all chips. Bar, then I'm going Reese's every time. Okay. Well. Definitely, for real. I would go with a Reese's. I would also Twix PB is good. I don't I've think I don't one. think they I make them one. anymore. But like, I remember one year for Christmas, my dad freaking packed a whole cooler uh, filled with a uh, peace tea and fucking uh, Twix PB. Dude, he, he told me he literally like the day before he just fucking went to Liberty Mart, and you know how like the candy bars are in the freaking. Swat thing, <coughs> like all of them are in like their case. Yeah, my dad just fucking picked up the case and bought every single Twix PB that was wow. in the fucking place. Oh my gosh. He just fucking dumped it in the cooler. Unbelievable. That was one of the cool. And then like at the bottom of the cooler were the hops and tickets. Wow, the shirt came <coughs> off, dude. Yeah. It's hot in here. I, it really got hot in yeah. here the second you took your shirt off. <laughs> 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 Dude, you, you have some thick ass armpit hair. Dude, stop. Your armpit hair look like a fucking disgruntled skunk. Dude, let's stay on topic for the pod. <laughs> we haven't been on topic the entire fucking pod. I mean, there's just been. This is like how a Joe Rogan podcast is, though. Yeah. It's just kind of yeah. natural transitions. It just goes everywhere. Yeah. Bouncing up and down from Area 51 to candy bars. Yeah. To the best cameo, maybe, in the podcast history. From Probably. 
I don't know. Maybe the best is when I came during your live. Uh, oh, I know what the best one is. I'll say it after this. And though. I freaking. Okay. I said if you hit like 500 subscribers or 600. Something, oh, that was pretty dope. And you had like 100 people in the chat. Yeah. And you hit like 500 subs subs, and I came over and chug two beers. That's true. That, that was dope. <laughs> and I taped up the beers because I was worried about the copyright. Uh, okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Because you should have put on your gla like glasses and just like walked in. Was the song playing, <laughs> dude? Because that was wild. Because I remember that. Because that was like you, you had like twenty new subscribers from <laughs> one freaking pod, dude. You had like a hundred and fifty people in like one. I remember that. Yeah, that was wild. That's when we were playing the Jets. Was it? Yeah, I had 150 people in there. And people, wow. they probably watch because they could see the game through your glasses. That's probably why. That's <laughs> why. Hooking no, them up. I'm just kidding. You can't see that. No. Hooking them up, dude. Freaking, <laughs> but, up yeah, that was wild because I remember you said that. You're like, if you can get treated to 500 subscribers, I'll come in there and, like, you said shotgun, though, but you ended up doing the thing with the straw. Like Same a, thing. Yeah, you're like, I will shotgun two yes. beers and fucking 20 people subscribe to me. <laughs> and I was like, Wow. But the, the it was like eleven a.m. I was hungover and I was like, okay, I guess I'll. <laughs> yeah, you were in the chat. I was, I was just trying to hype everyone up. That's how people love you now, though. <laughs> like you're because of the live streams. Yeah, oh, the... oh. <laughs> so freaking the person I was gonna shout out earlier, since we were freaking going way off topic, Peter Jackson, dude. I freaking had, he was the dude from the UK, I had him on for oh, the okay, podcast, yeah. dude, he's a great guy. Yeah, yeah, he fucking, totally. he literally listened to the whole one we just did, and freaking commented down below, like, all of our teams, they're like, Bryce, Colton, Trevin, and then freaking... So I was number two? No, well, no, he, like, gave his oh. whole fucking analysis, right, on, like, each team. Really? And he, like, he fucking made sure, he's like, he's like, if in case you guys didn't, like, watch the whole thing, here mm. are the teams, and he fucking listened to the whole thing, and gave wow. his whole fucking analysis, and then he's like, but then at the end, he's like, they're all pretty good, I can't just pick one, and yeah. I was like, Peter! Yeah. <laughs> I was, Dude, yeah. I was pissed, I read that whole thing, I was smiling, and then at the end, I was like, Dude, that's Peter. cool. Yeah. That's awesome. That, I have some, Shout out, man. Dude, there's, there's, there's some people cool with that me people that are that. loyal as fuck. Mm -hmm. Like, I've had some people here that have been, like, watching my shit since day one. And it was funny, because one of them commented the other day. It was like, I wish I made 50 grand a year to get you a new camera, because at this point, it's getting ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's been the same one the whole time. For a Fair. year. Dude, like, it probably wouldn't even feel like I've been around as long if I just posted, like, a one video a week. But since I post, right. like, so fucking often, people see the shit yeah. so How fucking How many videos long. do you have on your yeah. YouTube? 390. Damn. And I started back on YouTube on May of 2018. So I've been <sighs> going for a year and three months. So Damn. Pretty, pretty consistent. That's like almost a <laughs> yeah. video every goddamn day. Uh huh. Three hundred and ninety. That's wild. There's some some breaks. Some breaks for crew trips and oh yeah, did I only? Trips there's or... been very uh, very rarely do I take breaks though. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like unless it's like actual shit I have to do, which now that I'm getting kind of paid to do it, now this could you know turn into the shit that I actually get to do. Yeah. And you know, and then I get to upload videos like this that probably. In all reality, are gonna get like thirteen views, but I fucking love it, and I'm gonna get and I'm gonna get money yeah. from it because if somebody does listen to this whole thing and they watch every single ad, that's like so twenty five bucks. So you better have done that. Shouts out yeah. if you came this far. Out, so you did that far. <laughs> all right, well we are forty eight minutes deep into Dude, this. Dude, I love doing podcast. podcasts like this. It's just random. It's yeah. like you just go. Yeah. yeah. Well, then it, it makes it hard for me though because then I'm like, what the hell am I gonna title this? Because that's that's why I've been doing bullshit. Not no, because people won't <laughs> click on that. We yeah. gotta you gotta put like I think I'm gonna put Area Fifty One, chocolate bars. Long pre season. Darts. Pre oh yeah, pre season. NFL pre we have to put preseason first. Yeah. Because yeah. that'll lure them in. We'll see how <laughs> <laughs> they they're just listening to it the whole yeah. time. Like, <laughs> are they ever gonna talk about the preseason? <laughs> Cause we we probably only talked about football for like literally like the first eight minutes. Eight minutes, yeah, yeah. dude. But it's that's that's like how it be because freaking Mike got so pissed off at us for the longest time about just talking about football all the time. Yeah. So we just kind of trained ourselves to kind of. I don't. I mean, like every time Mike's around, it's just 
hey, I'm, I make $53,000. I got a new truck. How nice it is. I hope Mike is listening. Consistently shitting on Mike is going to be the joke of the crew cast. He's not even going to know, and the next time he's yeah. on, everybody's going to be like, so that's the guy they shit on. Yeah, that's, that's Mike. I know. I'm hoping next crew cast I can at least get Barn on here. I was going to ask Barn to come, but he sounded like he had a tough day. Yeah. Sometimes, man. Sometimes yeah, it does. Everybody. Sometimes the day just grabs you by the balls. Yeah. Because I think that one guy left his job. Yeah. So it's just him. Well, I mean, he's working hard. He yeah. found a lizard yesterday. A blue-tailed skink. Dude, I found a blue-tailed skink <laughs> in fucking... Uh, big five. Big five, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was the most badass thing. And then Did Bailey I... just so happened to be in the store. And I was like, babe, look what I found. Dude, I find blue-tailed skinks at my house all the time. They're always around. I've never seen it's one wild. more. I've seen more snakes than blue-tailed skinks at your Oh, house. man, I've seen, like, freaking four or five blue-tailed skinks. Dude, I've That's... never been to your house. I mean, <laughs> I've never seen a snake at your house. I have. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my no, my mom almost cut off a snake's head in my driveway. What do you oh mean, God. almost? She almost, well, she's well, she? I think she did. Oh, she, she had to. What do you mean? No, they just stepped over it? No, what like, kind oh. of snake was it? No, I think she made my dad do it. Oh. Like, cut the head off. But pretty sure it was just a bull snake. Like, recently? Yeah. No, it was, it was a while back. Dude, you know what else you have at your house? What? Bees. And wasps. No, I'm not too bad. Dude, not but you also have the most fucking... You should get that fucking wasp's nest, like, mounted. I can't anymore. The freaking hummingbirds destroyed the fuck out of <laughs> did me. That, <laughs> just they get... did. The hummingbirds fucked that thing up, dude. It's just toast. The what? The hummingbirds. Oh, yeah. Fucked it up. Done. All right, boys. Well, I think that was a good fucking podcast yeah. episode. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. If you guys got this far, thank you for watching. That is very impressive. 51 minutes of crew cast material. I told y'all this was coming out late, so hopefully you guys stayed up and watched it. If you guys have made it this far, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. And make sure you check the links down below. You can like me on Facebook, at Dream Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Dream Talks. Or follow me on Instagram, at Trey Von Pixley. Boys, any last parting words? Goodbye. It's your boy Fitz. We'll see you another day. <laughs> Why'd you introduce yourself to just? <laughs> I love it. I always do. Thank y'all for listening. Bye.